Hi folks, first of all, I hope you're all happy. In Switzerland, as probably in most countries right now, the gyms are closed. This means I have to train at home to stay in shape as good as possible. Well, and for me as a Bordeaux, one obvious choice to do so is to use a hangboard. In my case, it's the Beastmaker 1000. However, one big question for me was how to mount it. And if you look on the internet, usually you find something like, yeah, you can place it above your door frame and then screw there. But as I'm living in a rental apartment, I wanted to reduce the likelihood of damaging something as much as possible. This meant for me, preferably no drilling, no screwing, no hammering into the wall or the door frames. So I did a bit of research on the internet and in the end, I decided to go for this option. This is the Workbase Flex from Smartwork. We'll turn around a bit so that you can see it better. So here you can mount your hangboard onto it, but of course you could also just mount your climbing hoards or other training devices onto it. The good thing is here, you, can, you just need to screw this into the wooden front part and then, based on the structure here, because you have these holes, you can put these onto your door frames and, well, if you want to train, you can put it in your door frame, just set it up like this. If you don't want to train, if you want, you can take it down, but no need to screw, hammer or drill into the wall. You can just mount it here onto the wooden front part and that's it. And that's uh, what I really like about it because you do not damage anything in your apartment, which is good. One thing I want to emphasize, I'm neither paid nor sponsored by Smartwork to do this video. It's just I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one in this situation and I thought it could be helpful for some of you out there. Um, later in the video I will also present some alternatives to you and um, yeah, so then you have maybe it's easier for you to decide which option is the best for you, but then this is up to you. So the further structure of the video is like this. Next, I will show you some parts of the assembly process and maybe more importantly how to mount it on the door frame and take it down again. Um, this is then followed by some short clips of exercises I did with my setup here so that you can see it in action. Um, after that, I will, as I mentioned before, point out some possible alternatives to the walk-based flags. And at the end, well, I will give a short conclusion and that's basically it. One last um, remark. Um, I guess uh, pretty soon I will release another video um, where I'm following the at home training plan from Louis Parkinson and there I will be using the work based flex together with my hangboard. So if you don't want to miss it, stay tuned, best case subscribe to not miss it and well, enjoy the video. Here you can see all the parts which were delivered for assembling the work based flex together with the assembly instructions. In general the whole process is pretty easy. Next, you can see here the mounted handles, which you can put on a door frame to hold the whole structure. So a really central component. This here is the bar you can use to mount your phone to, or you can also use it to mount the board and also take it down again. And next, you can see the rock base flex from behind. Here with these extendable rods or bars, or how you say, these are later put against the door to give the setup more stability. So what's important to take into account is that the position you're using, so in my case here it's the second one, this depends on your door and on your door frames. So there you basically need to play around and just test which position suits best for your door and which position is the most stable one. So here it took some time until I figured out that this is the, the best one for my door and I will soon show you how it looks like on, um, on one of my doors for instance. So this is the view from the front. Here on this part we will next mount the hangboard. In my case it's the Beastmaker 1000. So we mount it here. And then here these are the parts uh, which you use for the door frames. Et voilà! That's how the result looks like. So now I mounted the Beastmaker onto the Smart Rock. As you can see here. And I can also show it from the other side. You can see I just had to use the hammer to hammer this in. So next I think it's time to give it a try on the wheel door. Let's go for it. Okay, so now I want to quickly show you how to mount it. It's really a piece of cake. So you can just go here, place it on your door frame. And that's basically it. So here you can see 
that it's really uh, positioned on the door frame in a stable position here. And to take it down, you can use this bar again. Just use it like this, and then take it down. And if you want, I can maybe you can also record from this perspective if I mount it. So here. From this one? Yeah. So here, you can just Ready? just go like there, hold it up, put it on there, and then here, and I just have a better position. I will put it more or less in the center, and that's it. So. If I want, I can now, for instance, go from a pull up, something else, as you see, it's stable and uh, yeah, ready to train. So, next, let me show you some exercises and um, so that you can see the whole setup in action. And as before, I can start with a simple pull up. And as you can see, the whole setup is really stable. I can also do it, for instance, here. So this is working fine. Or, for instance, um, also obviously something like the open crimp works fine. And um, I will now also show you a different perspective. So I would just repeat it again, but this time from this angle. So during the movement you can see that it uh, presses itself slightly into the door frame, which is I guess uh, normal, so nothing special there. So then like this. But as I said before, in general, a really stable and solid setup. Yeah, so um, really happy about it. So what I forgot to mention before is also about this little uh, phone mount here. So it's like this. You can just put your phone in between. And then mount it here. And that's basically it. So it's a, it's a nice little gadget. Uh, it can help you. I mean, I'm using a timer app with uh, acoustic notifications, so I don't necessarily need it, but I still like to have it here because then I can also check in between how long uh, there's still to go. So, definitely not a must have, but like a nice little gadget. As I said at the beginning of the video, there are alternatives to the Rock Base Flex. And uh, one popular one is to use a pull up bar as a basis for mounting your hangboard. And well, if you take a close look here, it's basically with these holes, it's basically the same principle underlying the work base flex. Uh, I won't discuss this option now in too much detail because there's a good video from Geek Climb about it and there he explains how to mount a hangboard based on the yeah, regular pull-up bar. And I will put a link to his video into the description down below, so if you're interested, you can check it out. So honestly, I thought about applying this approach, buying a pull-up bar and then mounting my hangboard based on the pull-up bar structure. However, I didn't really find a good pull-up bar which suits to my door frames and moreover I didn't have all the tools and all the equipment available that you need to do it at least in a proper way. So that was for me the reason why I decided not to go for this approach. Besides the video from uh, Geek Climber, I will also put a link to a video from Grundkurs Bodem into the description. It's actually a very recent video and so you should check it out. And there Ralph explains how to build a portable fingerboard or hangboard setup, yeah, basically just based on a strap and some wood, and he does it himself. And um, so if, uh, for instance, the work base flex you consider to be too expensive, maybe this could be something for you. So as I said, I will put a link into the description. In addition to that, I will also put a link to a video from Nathan Betts, where he explains, uh, where he basically gives an overview on how to build a portable hangboard and um, it requires like, access to some tools but I think it could still be maybe an alternative for some of you so once again I will put it into the description. So this list of uh, other videos I mentioned now is certainly not a complete list. However, at least I wanted to give you a starting point for your own search if you're interested in this topic and you do not want to use the work base flex. Um, so I guess based on these videos you should be able to find your own um, version. So in this case, please just drop a comment. I'm always interested in um, getting to know what, what other people are doing. So maybe you can just briefly describe which setup you're using and how you did it. So 
would be interesting, maybe also for others. So if after watching this you consider buying the rock-based decks, there are just two further aspects I wanted to mention. The first, and it should be a given, but I will mention it anyway, um, your door frames need to be stable or strong enough to hold your body weight. So if you can't hang on your door frames, because they're very brittle and it's squeaking a lot, um, I guess this is not an option for you. But the same would also go for another pull-up bar-based setup. Secondly, you should make sure that the measurements of your doors and door frames comply with the officially given measurements. I will put a link into the description down below. Um, even if it doesn't fully comply, you can still contact them and it can still work for you. But then this needs to be decided on a case-by-case -case basis. Well, and that's, that's basically it. So, um, I've not been using the Rockbase Flex and this setup for, I think, three weeks, give or take, maybe a bit more. And all I can say is that so far I'm happy with it. So I would uh, definitely buy it again and um, I'm happy with it. I didn't have any, uh, any issues, any problems and I can do my exercises in a comfortable way. Um, one little thing I want to, uh, to mention um, at the beginning, let's say in the first three, four hangs, um, yeah, I, was, I was a bit cautious because I didn't fully trust the whole structure and I was a bit yeah, cautious, but basically this feeling was gone after, as I said, maybe the first three, four times. And now I can perform all the exercises without even thinking about it and without worrying about it. Every once in a while I still check the setup to make sure that it's positioned on the door frames in the correct way. But apart from that, that's it. And secondly, you need to get used to the fact that if you keep the workbase flex mounted on your door frame, you are not able to close the door anymore. Um, it's not a big deal because you can just take it down within seconds. But at the beginning I kept it on the door frame and it happened to me that I wanted to close the door and obviously it didn't work. Um, luckily nothing happened, so the workbase flex didn't fall down, the door frame wasn't damaged or something like this. But I wouldn't risk it um, smashing the door heavily and um, trying to find out what happens then. I don't know. But, um... And thirdly, I can remember there have been exercises when I was uh, performing them uh, with my setup where the workbase flex was moving a little bit. This was really not a problem at all. It was a, when the first time when it happened, it was a bit of a weird feeling, but it, it really was not a problem at all. I'll try to find a video of it where you can see it. Just wanted to mention it. And yeah, this is it. Way more talking than originally expected, but thanks for watching. So uh, please uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Always happy about that. And uh, if you have any questions, just ask me also on Instagram and I will try to answer as soon as possible. And um, yeah, as I said at the beginning of the video, uh, pretty soon there should be another video about the Louis Parkinson training plan. We can see this whole setup a bit more in action. So watch out, watch out for it because uh, I hope it will be interesting and um, stay healthy and bye.